This is Jess Coimson and you're watching Zaproot. We know all of you potheads thought hydroponics were going to save the world, but as it turns out, it might be hydrophobic sand that turns the desert green. With water in particularly short supply in the United Arab Emirates, researchers at Dime Hydrophobic Materials and German scientist Hermann F. Schultz have used nanotechnology to develop a kind of waterproof coating for the sand, which stops water from seeping down. If the hydrophobic sand is laid down beneath the topsoil, the sand serves as a water table and retains water for the plants. Using the sand, desert farmers would only have to water their plants one time a day instead of five or six. This uses 75% less water. Plus, sand not only retains water, it also prevents salt from reaching the plant's roots. All of this, they say, has a great possibility for preventing desertification. And for all of you people who are worried about coating sand in nanotech particles and releasing them out into the environment, don't worry about it. What could possibly go wrong? So what has that wacky FDA been up to lately? In January 2009, five days before Bush left office, the FDA released the final industry guideline number 18, which provides rules that pertain to animals genetically engineered with heritable recombinant DNA constructs. Translation, an animal that has been genetically altered to be different. All which means genetically engineered meat is on its way to your plate. But you probably won't notice anyway because it doesn't have to be labeled. Is that the same as clones, you ask? No, the FDA also released guidelines for clones in January. They're finding. They say clones are exact copies of animals, so they present no new risks. Game on. And because there's no risks, cloned meat doesn't have to be what? Labeled. You got it labeled. So, no labels for cloned meat, no labels for genetically engineered meat. Yum a dum dum dum. Want some free stuff? Well, buygreen.com is looking to give it to you. Sign up on our community site, add a blog entry. You can use pics and videos, and the best blog entry this week will receive this. Sponsored by buygreen.com. And don't forget, there's a link in our show notes. Check out this video from the discerning brute. If there's one thing that I love, it's fashion at any cost. If you look behind me, you'll see about 40 different dead animals on one person. It's kind of amazing that that many animals can fit on one coat. I just assume it, it grows its hair back and it's all okay at the end of the situation. <laughs> That's what you assume? <laughs> I'm assuming that. I like it because it keeps me warm. It's an easy go-to. Yeah, it used to keep the animals that had it warm as well. Oh, fur on the original owner, that's what we like to see. Check out thediscerningbrute.com for the full video. Thanks for watching, and all you brutes can come check us out at zabrute.com. Hey, YouTube user, you should subscribe. The button is right over here. Seriously, this button's all over the place.